and good morning. This is Southern Bell. And just like the sign says, gather here with thankful hearts. That's exactly what I am doing today. I am so blessed that I now have 650 subscribers. And I am so blessed that even if you aren't a subscriber, that many non-subscribers click the watch button and take the time to give me the views, give me the watches, and that is helping my channel to grow. I decided as a form of gratitude that I would go back and I would answer in public many of the questions that I've gotten in the comments. Because with the way the comment system works, you get a chance to make your comment and when I put a heart on it you get a message and when I reply to your comment you get an answer but there are so many videos to watch it's hard to keep up with videos I don't think that anybody goes back and reads the other comments during a video or reads the answers to the other comments so when other people ask questions you may have never seen them in the comment section or when I went back to answer their questions in the comment section, you might not have seen the answers. So I decided to call this episode, Ask Southern Bell. And you know, if y'all like it, this may be an ongoing um, weekly video. We'll have to see how it goes because I'm always interested in giving you more of the content that you want. I just need to know what that content is. So go ahead and push pause and go to the comment section and let me know. Is an Ask Southern Bell weekly video the type of content you might want? If so, let me know. And you can always throw some hearts. You can always put a fleur de lis in the comments. I know sometimes it's hard to know how to comment or what to say. And lately I've been seeing people say, oh, just throw an emoji in. I'm not for sure if the YouTube algorithm counts that as a full comment, but I'm guessing it probably does because it's some kind of interaction. So what I've done is I've taken some of the comments that were written in the comment section that y'all might not have seen and might not have uh, read the answers to, and I decided that I would start this first episode of Ask Southern Bell off with reading and answering those comments, and then after the video, if there is still a question that you have about the channel, about the South, about Southern culture, culture, about Southern hospitality, then I can answer it in one of my next videos. I may even, if I have time, um, take some of the questions from my Discord. And if you haven't already joined my Discord, you are missing out. It is a great place to get the first information, to talk ideas and concepts through, to be able to post about your own channel, if you have one, about your favorite channels. And when you private message on Discord, it's not like an email where you have to open up everyone individually, where you might have missed one, where they're not all delivered. They're in a nice, convenient log. So you can just scroll up and scroll down. You don't have to open up individual emails. And my Discord is 100% family friendly. And I keep it that way, just like I keep my channel family friendly. So without further ado, Laissez bon temps rouler. Let the good times roll, and we'll let it roll with some questions. Also, I'm going to change out the art in the background, and if for some reason you decide that you'd like to buy any of the art seen in the background, then send me five bucks, and I will gladly add it to whatever ongoing auction purchase you have so that I can bundle it for shipping. So the first question, and it's more of a statement than a question, comes from Beth Peterson. Beth Peterson writes, Southern Belle, all of us from Shannon's channel love you and support you. I'm proud to be a subscriber. Now you got to come up with a name for your followers. Well, if y'all don't know Beth Peterson, she's often just called Miss Beth in videos. She's the bestie and the dumpster diving partner of Shannon. And I know a lot of y'all are here from Shannon's channel because I am proud to be a moderator over there. But if you don't, Shannon is dumpster diving mom of two. And she has 70,000 followers that watch her dumpster diving videos and watch her live donation openings, 
which are super exciting. And I am so glad to have a wrench there and be helping out as a moderator. Because when you have between 700 and 1,000 people in the chat live, you just need a little bit of help. And both she and Beth are sweet as pie. So I am so glad to have them as supporters and as subscribers. And I'm glad that they're proud of that. But if you notice the last statement of Beth's comment was, now you've got to come up with a name for all us followers. Well, I thought about it and I've prayed about it and I wanted it to be something original. I also wanted it to be something specific to my particular channel. So I thought since my name is Southern Bell, I somehow wanted to get Bell in there. And here's the name I've come up with. Y'all tell me if you like it, if you hate it, maybe you just love it. Um, I kind of love it, I have to tell you. So, since my name is Southern Bell, I'd like to call y'all Bellarinas. What do you think? Do you want to be Bellarinas? Now, not ballerinas. Ballerina is the dancer. I'm not a dancer, although I love to watch ballet. But not ballerina, ballerina. And I know I have a few guys subscribers out there. Um, you've probably seen them in the comments. You'll see comments from channels like Scrap Dog. From channels like Sunfish King, channels like Hustle Q, and they can be Bellarinos. Bellarina? Bellarino. What do y'all think? I like it. I think it's creative. I think it's different from the other names of followers. So that's what I'm going to go with. So when I welcome y'all to future videos, you'll hear me mention the Bellarinas and the Bellarinos. The next question I have is from Miss Live Style Rewind. She says, was that French you were speaking? And the answer is yes. I've decided to make my catchphrase, laissez bon temps rouler, which means let the good times roll. And it is technically a French saying. Um, it's very frequently said in New Orleans. It's said when um, you wanna say, okay, let's get this going, let's get started. It's also said as a toast. The next question is, why do you use the fleur-de-lis as your symbol? Well, the reason I use the fleur-de-lis is Southern Bell um, could mean so many different locations because the South spans from underneath the Mason-Dixon line, way over from Virginia, all the way to Louisiana. And if you happen to cross the Sabine River in Louisiana, you get into Texas and you leave the South and you go into the Southwest. Now, I know for some of the foreign viewers that may be a little confusing how on one side of a river is the South, on another side of the river is the Southwest. But I can tell you because I was blessed enough to get into Baylor University and to go to college in Texas. And I loved my years at Baylor. Um, and I'm proud that that's where I got my degree, that their culture is totally different. It is Southwest in terms of food. It is Southwest in terms of decor. It is Southwest in terms of jewelry. It is amazing how crossing one river, um, which isn't even that big of a river, by the way, um, takes you from the South to the Southwest, and things are so different there. Texas is a wonderful, fabulous place, and I have great things to say about Texas but it has a different culture and a different flavor. So since the South is such a large region, at first I started thinking um, about having a magnolia as my symbol because Southern Bells are also called the fairest flower of the South, which is a super cute nickname. <clears throat> but so many states use the magnolia as their state flower. So I thought people aren't going to know where in the South I'm from. I need to do something to be more specific. So I started thinking about it and I thought, well, the way to be most specific is to be regional. So I need to pick something from Louisiana. And then I started thinking, well, people won't necessarily know if I'm from New Orleans or I could be up from someplace up north up in the northern part of the state. So I started thinking, well, the fleur-de-lis is a symbol of New Orleans, a symbol of my area, and so that would give me great specificity 
as to my location, my state, um, the heritage and the culture in which I grew up. So that's why I decided to pick the Fleur de Lis for my channel icon. I hope that y'all have enjoyed this first episode of Ask Southern Belle. If you have more questions, please, oh please, oh please, write them in the comments. And if there's enough questions to merit, then I'll make another episode next week of Southern Bell. And it may be your comment I'm reading, your question I'm reading. If for some reason you don't want your name read, even though comments are public, then in parentheses, just write, read as anonymous. And then I'll read it as anonymous, because I don't mind keeping that private. So, um, I hope that everybody has a great day. I hope I get lots of comments, and I hope that um, you are blessed beyond measure. And laissez bon temps rouler. Let the good times roll. Roll in your life. Roll in your heart. Roll in your soul. Roll on and on and on. <laughs>